Driver had to dodge flying debris on I-77 as a car crossed two lanes and plowed into the toll lane barrier. And then the driver just kept going. Our Brianna Harper is live along that same stretch of road tonight. Brianna, you found out a lot of times it's really hard for officers to do anything about something like this. Yeah, Erica, that's exactly right. I'm told the hardest part is actually catching those drivers in the act. Right now we're driving southbound along I-77 right around that area where the driver's dash cam was recording. If you take a look now, you can see these white barriers along I-77 that on the left of your screen that separates the general purpose lanes and the toll lanes and NCDOT tells me these poles are bendable, but only to allow emergency vehicles to get through. A morning drive along I-77, then out of nowhere. Whoa! Oh my God! You can see this car cross two lanes, plowing through the toll lane barriers. The driver, whose dash Whoa. camera video caught it all, says she oh was in God. shock. It scared me half to death. Initially, I was like, oh, this is how I'm going to die. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but Courtney Holliday says she had to dodge the flying debris coming her way. I know pieces of his front bumper went flying and it seems like some pieces came out from under his car as well. She told me she was driving about 70 miles per hour on I-77 just past exit 23, but you can see the other car is going much faster. I also shared the shocking video with other drivers. Oh, wow. When you see that, what is going through your mind? Um, how reckless are people? And I don't know, I just feel like it's crazy because they're obviously not thinking about anyone else that's driving on the road. NC Highway Patrol says they have troopers assigned to the area around the HOV lanes to enforce speed limits, respond to crashes, and try to prevent reckless maneuvers like this. But I'm told it's hard to catch drivers after the fact to give them a citation. Just one reason why troopers are now encouraging others to take extra precaution. It's definitely becoming more dangerous and you have to be on a higher level of alert and awareness. The scary thing is this guy didn't seem to care. He just kept on driving with his bumper half hanging off the car and I saw him go up weaving in and out of traffic. And back out here live, I reached out to I-77 Mobility Partners to see how they're able to track cars and charge them for, move, for using the toll lanes in instances like this when cars exit illegally. At this point, I'm still waiting to get an answer back. Reporting live from Storm Camp, Brianna Harper, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.